Hi, and welcome to this video. My name is Edgar Kautzner, and I'm the Managing Consultant at Monera. This is the first video in our Data Warehouse Automation series, and what I'd like to do today is to give you an introduction to data warehousing. Let's start by addressing the questions as to what a data warehouse is and why you might want one. In other words, how a data warehouse delivers business value. Now, it all starts with a decision that needs to be made or a question that needs answering. For example, a marketing manager might want to understand where to best invest their online advertising dollars. Or a call center manager might want to know the optimum number of staff to hire for their call center. Or a sales manager might want to identify the customers that deliver the most profit so they can find more of these customers. We want to make an informed and objective data-driven decision. So we need some data to answer these questions. At an organization, you may have data being collected in a variety of places. These may be from internal systems, such as a finance system or an ERP, customer systems, such as your CRM, from HR or payroll, or perhaps from operations systems, such as a manufacturing system. It could also be from web apps, such as Salesforce and Xero, from Google Analytics, or from a social media account, such as your Twitter or your Facebook. Data could also be collected in spreadsheets and flat files or CSVs from other cloud sources, or perhaps from any other organizational data source that you may have sitting around your organization. Now, the problem is that the data is likely not structured for reporting. It's probably hard to access, and it's also captured in a silo. So it's not integrated with all the other data to give you a complete picture. So this is where data warehousing comes in. Data warehousing allows you to extract data from your organizational systems, load it all into a centralized location, and then transform and integrate the data into a format optimized for analytics. The data warehouse can be used as a source for your data visualization tools, so your reports and dashboards, and also for advanced analytics, but more on that later. So how does this all create value for an organization? Well, it contains a single source of data that is consistent in format, structured in a uniform way, contains complete and accurate data that can be relied upon, and also data that's up to date. It's also structured for fast access to data. It's designed specifically to allow data to be accessed quickly. It also provides a single integrated view of the organization, combining data from multiple sources so you don't need to stitch it all together manually. And having a complete data set also allows you to analyze data from the past to predict the future. All of this delivers value to the business by giving managers access to the information they need much more quickly and easily, with significantly less ongoing effort to prepare the data. It also gives them information about the business environment more quickly, which means they can respond to changes rapidly. Managers can also be provided with information far more frequently. So not only monthly, but weekly, daily, or hourly. And all of this leads to more informed managers making data-driven objective decisions. And you'll see the results of that in your organization's bottom line. So what I'd like to talk about next is how a data warehouse is structured and how it's used. I mentioned a moment ago that a data warehouse contains data from one or more organizational sources. So let's now look a little deeper into the data in a data warehouse. At its most basic, a data warehouse is a collection of tables containing data structured in a way that's optimized for reporting and analytics. But there are different ways the data can be modeled. The best way to model data to support decision making is a dimensional model, sometimes known as a star schema or a Kimball model. At a high level, the tables in a dimensional model can be categorized into two different types. Fact tables, also called event tables, contain individual business events, for example, sales transactions, or aggregated summarized business events, for example, your sales by month. They consist of measures and calculations, for example, the sales amount or the discount rate associated with the transaction. The other type of table are dimensions. Dimensions contain descriptive attributes, fields that describe the measures in the fact table. And this allows you to slice and dice your data. So for example, a given sales transaction relates to a customer, a product, a salesperson, and a date. So you can look at, for example, the transactions by salesperson for a given product, 
the top customers by revenue, the overall trend of revenue over time, or perhaps if there's a relationship between discounts given and sales. A data warehouse usually contains multiple star schemas for analyzing organizational data. Okay, so let's now talk about how a data warehouse is used. As I mentioned before, a data warehouse contains data that's used to support business decisions. It can be used in a variety of ways. So it can be used as a source for your data visualization tools such as Yellowfin, Power BI, Tableau or Click. And all of these provide reports and dashboards to managers to help them monitor and manage organizational performance. They can also help you share information around the business, whether that's through reports and dashboards in the visualization tool or by sending information out by email to decision makers. It can also help you drive processes. So for example, it could send out tasks uh, to sales managers when you know the sales don't hit a given percentage of the budget 10 days before the end of the month, prompting them to do something about it. A data warehouse can also be used as a source for your advanced analytics. So for example, your network and cluster analysis, your forecasting, data mining, your sentiment analysis, or your simulation modeling. And there could be a two-way feed between the data warehouse and advanced analytics. So some of your models could be fed back into the data warehouse for use in your dashboards and reports. The data warehouse can also be used as a source of data to feed into other organizational systems. For example, into your CRM for future marketing after you've done a customer segmentation analysis. So that gets us to the end of the video. Hopefully I've given you a good understanding of data warehouses and how they deliver value to businesses. In the next video, we'll talk about the development of data warehouses using data warehouse automation. So stay tuned for that. If you'd like to hear more about Monero and how we can help you make more informed decisions, feel free to visit www.monero.net to get in touch with us. See you in a future episode.